Yeah, Mr. Arrow. Let us not kill it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's do it. Alright. Thank you and welcome to members of the press. And thank you for being on time on a short notice as we have our boss, the chair on gender, to address the press of few issues. Thank you so much for coming. America. Good afternoon, members of the press. Um, thanks for being here. And my attentions as chair of gender committee have been drawn to two issues. The first is um, concerning the little girl the photo that is trending on Facebook about a little girl in a uniform with um, Yaka Koluba uh, is disheartening, it's frustrating, and it is regrettable that we will have people using the thing, the photo to make publicity out of it. Um, we are very hurt with the manner in which this little girl has been treated in the public and also on social media. So we have come to this press conference to ask the public to desist from such a photo. I uh, know it has caused her a lot of emotional trauma. It has caused her a lot of things among her colleagues, among her friends in your community. We cannot judge someone for standing or walking or trying to get in someone's car and think that it's going to go do other things that is disorderly, especially for the little girl. And especially, I, I was disheartened and I was hurt when I listened to a gentleman on Spoon FM justifying that he did the post. We called it on a particular gentleman about three days. Within three days' time, he should go and apologize to the little girl. It's wrong if you don't do it, as gender committee will take issue with him. Because we can't allow our little children or our girls to be molested because of people's issues. You have your issues. With honorable people, you go and take it up with them, and you and they have your problem. But for this girl to be brought to public ridicule is wrong, and is we condemn it to the fullest, and we will follow the process to the letter, because what is happening to the little girl? She's suffering from emotional trauma right now. For for someone who say you keep talking about the little girl now, Yeke Yeke has accepted honorable Kolba, I accepted he's a public figure. So he can be in the public at any time, which we don't have a problem with. But for this child to be draw, drawn into this at this time in her uniform, which have a well, uh, they have a, on both sides, even on the school and even on her character, which both slowly sat on spoon FN and felt comfortable to boast about it to go and apologize to the little girl. So to that point, we'll follow it to the process within three days. But we don't see our apology for the little girl. We'll follow it as general community and we'll make sure that this girl gets justice. And the nice thing is, um, Umbo Koluba is, um, is my colleague. But most of the time I say Umbo Koluba approach to issues making always wrong. I will advise Umbo Koluba, uh, whenever I listen to his podcast the few days, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in Ombo Kolba for going that low. Ombo Malan Katumu Bwakai have been a peaceful woman over the years. Even for the two times her husband has contested, now one day we are seeing her in the public getting involved with the process. Her to this level, but Ombo Kolba is wrong, is frustrating, is disappointing. Because as normal people, we always have to behave ourselves in honorable manner. And his behavior has an impact on us, even we, as his colleague. So uh, it's good that some of, one of our colleagues did a communication. We were planning to do that. And that communication, I can tell you, as chair of the gender committee of the House, will follow it to the 40s. 
and we ask on the Koloba that he will seek a means of apologizing or talking to Malam Katomo Boakai for what he have done to her. We we ask him that this is not the way out, and people should not use the conflict to keep insulting, I can say, a virtue woman and other people to involve them in the process. We can continue to do this. This have to stop, and it have to stop to the fullest. So we watching this process, and we following it to the fullest, and we ask that people must desist from using the social media, for using the public, and just insulting females in things that they think that they could do this and go free with it. This have to stop. And this committee will follow it to the fullest. So we ask him when we call back to desist from this and stop it, and this cannot continue in this 55th. Thank you. Thank so you. So we'll take five questions. I will just start it with, with it. Honorable uh, Chink for uh, giving the president's time to chat with you. So I'd like to know a few things. The first one is uh, the, the, the great question of your uniform, school uniform. I mean, have you able to have you, have you been? Have you had the time to maybe chat with her, maybe see her impressive? That's the first one. Secondly, Anglo Kolba, someone may argue that uh, this is not the first time we follow him uh, during the past regime. He used similar words on the, the then first lady and even women in, 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 in society. Someone was in the hotel was talking about it. How do you respond so, to that? So, um, responsibility comes with different characters. I'm not a chair of gender. And I feel and believe that the other people will keep silence before I won't. And I'm on record when Honorable Kolba insulted the first, uh, the vice president. I stood out in plenary and I dealt with him there. So I've never backed Honorable Kolba for his wrong. I appreciate him at times, but you cannot start demeaning people and insulting people and ringing insult on female. And when that comes, it becomes a problem for me. So if other people who was part of the gender committee they didn't do it in the past, I'm not the chair. I have to take the bold step. He's my colleague, I respect him, but if he go across the boundary to disrespect females, I'm gonna go for him and we're gonna stand with the females. Well as well you see the game question or you spoke with her. No, we're in the process. I'm not, I don't have to speak to her and know that what happened to her is wrong. And in fact, speaking to her or walking, so do not interpret that she was going to sleep on a call back. Do not interpret that it's wrong. There is no law that say a female or a, a female in a uniform or so cannot speak to a male. So that is wrong. And that is why when this gentleman went on Facebook and also went on Spoon FM to boast about it, we're calling on you to apologize to that lady. Now, so we'll follow you to the letter. Oh, uh, Rich Menza, thanks for uh, your idea. Uh, I'm Elo Palmer and I write for the Manifest Newspaper. Um, it appears that you are in uh, sympathy and empathy with this uh, few new person who has been uh, victimized by the public uh, opinion. Uh, besides you calling uh, the individual to book, will you uh, maybe recommend some traumatic exercise such that maybe that get to be traumatized because as a result of what happened, will you recommend some counseling for her such that she could return to her Sure enough, um, we have been trying everything to resort to her. We have not been able to get her, but we're going to put a process in place and we pray that other women groups even the UN women and other institutions will follow same with the women like Jaleda Caucus and we all will work with all for it on the process. I'm Gibson G from Punch FM. You've given a three days ultimatum to the individual who took the picture and admitted the action you planning to take when you failed to comply with the three day ultimatum. The first thing the committee we're gonna do a communication to him to invite him. And we will make sure that, and then starting from there, we can follow other legal aspects of the process. <coughs> to the last one. Yeah. So I'm Jeremy Waters. I'm from Women Voices Newspaper. So when it comes to the issue of cyberbullying, it's not changing like video. And you are here at the, at, at, at the level of the legislature. And do you think there should be regulation placed on how people use social media? Like 
Sure enough, sure enough, other countries are very are, are, are being very careful and they have put a lot of things in place for that. For us, we call on the post entire communication, we call on the regulatory body, we call on the Ministry of Information to see those things that are wrong in this process should stop. It should be done. I think not stopping people from expressing their view, but people should be civil. When you're expressing your view, you should not go into your view may, may, may wrong other people. So you should wash it clean it keenly when you're doing it and make sure it's done properly. Because somebody was expressing a view on Yaka Kolba. You take one little innocent girl and put her in your process. Is that how we want to solve the problem? And on when Yaka Kolba comes to the little girl, it starts to cause another mother. A mother that do not interfere with people's problems. A mother that has not caused any problem for anybody. That is wrong. People should use the internet with responsibility and be calling on and be keen to the fact that other people rights are also on the internet and should be respected. Don't you think it was set up? Set up? Yes. I really don't care what happened. I'm not going to investigate that. What I'm concerned about, the fact of the matter, women will be abused and guys will be molested. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, colleagues. Thanks for coming to our call. Thanks for speaking to The voice of one of the members chair on gender and the honorable house of representatives. Thank you.